Hey guys, I'm going to be, re be reviewing this plate today. It is an Ajupas plate, letters E, J, B, X, numbers 06. These, sorry for the glare, are what the images look like. My favorite are the little palm trees. The reason why I love Ajupas plates is because, I mean, number one, they're amazing. The images are always, always so super cool. Beautifully etched, so you don't have to worry about transfer. And these plates are double-sided. You can't get any better than that. And they are inexpensive, guys. This plate is absolutely amazing. Let's get into swatching it. Well, here I have some gel swatch sticks. Some I have DIY'd um, so that I can practice um, gel, or not gel, practice stamping is what I meant to say. So, I have already removed my stamp. Oops, sorry. It had previously looked like this with another stamp on it, and what I did is I just removed it, and it didn't mess up my gel at all. So it's fine for us to continue, or to start with our stamping is what I'm trying to say. Happy Memorial Day to you guys. I was thinking of doing like one of these videos at reviewing the stamping plate, but I was thinking of maybe going live. And I don't know if that's something that you guys are interested in, but I think that I might try that out um, and see how how I like that um and I think it would just be a lot of fun to have you know people live and see live comments and maybe do a design based off what somebody asked I don't know I just I can give um shout outs that way possibly meet new people so I don't know or get you know newer people to watch my channel so it's just something that I was thinking of. I am going to prepare myself as you may or might not know, or may not know. I like to hold my stamper and my scraper, um, and actually my squat, swatch stick in my left hand. I hold my scraper in my right, or my left hand temporarily until I get my polish down. Then I'll scrape and I'll uh, transfer my image. So that's just what I like to do. You don't have to do it that way. Okay, so we're just going to start with any random image here. Let's start with that little whale down below. So many fun images on here. There's dolphins, coral reef, sharks, little crabs, fish. So much fun. I missed this little tail and that was way too long. You normally don't want to take too long to pick up an image, but we still picked it up, managed to anyway. I'm going to get rid of what I don't want on my stamper. And you want to do that now, because then you would be transferring um, bits of images that you don't want. So we're going to go ahead. You really don't want to take this long, guys, um, to transfer your image normally. Let's see. Hopefully we can still... There we go. We got them on there. Next, I want to see if I can get a few of these waves. Get some wave action going on down here. Take my scraper. Gently scrape. I'm going to roll to pick up my image. There, we got a beautiful wave that's absolutely amazing. We're going to take our... I'm getting so much better at this, guys. I'm really... Not to, like, toot my own horn because I am the last person to do something like that. Um, but <laughs> I... Look how beautiful. I am getting so much better at stamping. And, guys, you know... That saying is really, really true. And I totally stand by it. If you really want to get good at something, whether it's your job, a talent, anything that you like to do, please just keep 
practicing because that's the only way that you're going to get better at it. Look at that. That's a beautiful transfer right there, if I do say so myself. Like I said, guys, I absolutely love these plates. This is the polish that I am using for today. I might be using a queen stamping polish and then this polish here. Um, I have an Ajubas plate. I have a Ajubas stamper, if you're wondering. So we are going to continue. I don't like blocking the camera like that. That's why I like everything um, really close to me, but we are going to continue. I am going to see if we can get, let me just grab something so that I can point with so you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm going to see if I can grab this little dolphin right in here because it's just small enough and I want it to kind of look like it's jumping out of the water. This is why stamping is so much fun because you can be so creative. Let's scrape down. Since I am going to be review or swatching the images going up, so I don't want to get too much polish up there. There goes those beautiful waves again. I'm loving those waves. They're beautiful, <clears throat> and they're transferring very, very well. So I had an option if I wanted to, what dolphin I wanted to use. I ended up going with this dolphin. So I wanted to kind of, I wanted him to kind of look like he was. Hopping out of the water. That's kind of cute, huh? I like that. So you guys can see a little bit better. I could have went ahead and used one of these dolphins over here, but they were a little, little bit too big for the area that I wanted to cover. So cute. Cute. All right, let's get rid of this image, and we will continue to swatch. Guys, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do all of the images on here. Um, but if you'd like to see more of these images, definitely stay tuned because I will um, definitely continue to play with this plate a lot more um, in the near future because there is a double side and I want to go ahead and um, try and swatch images on both sides even though I'm not going to be able to do all of the images. Okay, so let's continue. I just keep staring at those waves like I can't get enough of those waves. You know how awesome those would look? With a little bit of reverse stamping. I do have a wave plate um, that I did try to play with. It didn't work out for me. I guess I didn't play enough with it, um, but that's something that I definitely want to play with because those waves are so cool. This is how I remove my image. Just take my cotton claw and some acetone. And voila, you are ready for your next swatch. We are ready to go. Here we go. Kind of want to see if this, if the words will pick up. So here and here it says dolphin. And I'm going to try to pick that up. So let's see. Sorry if you hear any noise in the background like birds, <laughs> cars, or anything because my window is open. It's a really beautiful day. It is Memorial Day if I haven't said it already. Happy Memorial Day to everyone. I am... Most people would be outside like barbecuing or something, which is something that we were thinking of doing. But we are having more of a quiet day today. I wanted to make a video, so that is what I'm doing. see how good this transfers and it transferred pretty good look at that and even in a really cool font look how beautiful that came out cool I am going to get back to these dolphins down here just because I think they're really cute roll my stamper pick up those dolphins and I am going to get rid of what I don't want. I did get a little bit of a smudge on one of the dolphins, but that's okay. I'm still going to lay that down. Got a little bit too close to the word, but that's okay. You guys get the point. 
Next image. I am gonna go for these beautiful birds in the sunset up here. All right, let's scrape and see what kind of magic we can do. I'm gonna try to get as many of the birds as possible in that sunset. Cool. Get rid of what I don't want. Awesome. Guys, if you don't have a lint roller, um, you can definitely go for just a piece of tape. That works just as fine. Or just as good. Look at that. Cool. Look how awesome that looks. I'm going to try to fit something else down here. Guys, I'm going to go for this little tiny boat right in here. It's so adorable. And it's definitely waiting for me to swatch it. So we're, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and swatch that little tiny sailboat. Look how cute it is. It's so tiny. going to roll our stamper. Get, we got a little bit of a smudge, but we'll try to get rid of what we don't want. You know what? I'm going to try that sailboat again. Mm -mm. We're not going to put down something that's not as good as we think we can do, so we're going to try that again. came out better, better than the first one, still not as great as what I wanted, mm -mm. nope, not happy with it, let's try again, one more time, third time's got to be a charm guys. Let's scrape a lot more. Let me see. I keep getting like a smudge and I don't know why it's doing that. There we go guys. Much better. I scraped a different way. So we still got a little bit of a shade effect going on. I don't know why that's happening. Um, but we're going to get that down. Just because I just want to show you kind of like the, you see, see what I mean? Had like a little shadowing. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that image, but we're going to move on. The birds still look really cool. I like the birds. I grabbed another cotton ball because you need to change it out after a while or your image will You'll leave, you know, polish on your, your swatch stick and you don't want that because you want a clean slate. So, let's keep it moving. The last image is going to be the sunset on the ocean image up here and then we're going to flip over to the other side. Very nice. Remove what I don't want. Look how flawless that is. All right, let's see. Nice. Look at that. Come on, camera. Look at that. Nothing missing. Flawless transfer. Mm -hmm. It's like a cute little surfer dude on the other side. Okay, I'm going to try to get these sunglasses and these flip-flops at the bottom here. Sorry, guys, if it's taking me a little bit longer. Uh, these plates are not necessarily small like the cat's plates. Look at that. So I'm going to erase the 
enjoy and I just want the flip flops and the pair of sunglasses that's so cute um so we're gonna line it up at the bottom of our swatch stick we might not get all of the flip flops but that's okay that still looks really cute Cute. That I'm sorry, that is really cute. Really want to see how good that some of the nautical images come out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this beautiful rope. And as I put the stamping polish on, I'm really feeling how beautifully etched uh, these images are and it's really really nice sorry guys normally you don't want to take as long but I was trying to clean up my stamper because I forgot to but it still came out really really nice so I'm just going to stamp it before I can't. Just wanted to see how beautiful those lines come out. Nice. Got a little bit of a mess up in there, but that was probably my error. Very cool. All right, I'm going to go for the waves and little shark fin. Look how cute. Get rid of what I don't want. Look how beautiful that is. I'm going to put it towards the bottom because I want to put something else at the top. Cool. I how some of these images look like kind of like cartoon-like. Let's see, what should we put at the top? I think I'm going to try for all these little tiny fishies in here. Let's see if we can get some of them to stamp. Let's see. Guys, remember to clean off your stamper really good. Don't keep forgetting like me. <laughs> And then you take too long to transfer your image. Let's see. Cute. Look how cute that is. Yeah, some of the fishes got a little distorted, but that was my fault. But you are going to do a much better job. The point is you get the gist of what I'm doing. So let's remove that. And work on our next next swatch we're gonna do a couple more here maybe one or two more and then we are going to end this video guys if you haven't already please 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 hit that subscribe button as well you can hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time that I make another video so you don't miss it and also hit that thumbs up button so that I know what videos you like so that I continue to make more so if you do that I would appreciate that so so very much we are going to continue here with some more of these nautical designs. Kind of want to see how these turn out. And I'm definitely going to end with that beautiful little palm tree that I've been staring at, or palm trees. And see how that turns out. Look how beautiful that image came out very nice I didn't get a like the words at the top didn't come through all the way but you guys get it if I did it again it might 
it, it probably will work out but I think it's I didn't get it I'm looking at it right now and I didn't I didn't scrape very well so that was my fault I'm gonna continue with this beautiful kind of rope design pick that up smudged it a little bit but we're gonna try that one again let's go for that one again because I really like that rope detail and I really want to get a beautiful clean clear crisp image on it or transfer sometimes it's how you how you apply your stamper to your plate as well so there we go much better you just have to have a lot of patience guys when you're doing this stuff so kind of wanted it going across there we go really cool I'm gonna go for these adorable little flip-flops see how many I can get cute and we're gonna put those down at the bottom Oh, look how cute. Cute, right? I'm sorry, guys. One more last image here. Really don't want to take up too much of your time. This video was way too long, and I really didn't want to take that long. But I love how much I love this plate. And if you've stuck on this long, you are the bomb. I appreciate you. Look, look how cute. I mean, come on. I'm sorry, guys. Even with the little chair and the umbrella, look how cute. That's a cute image, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I have already let you guys know, so please, please, please subscribe down below. Also, hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I make a video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.